Welcome back to the channel. We're going to be reviewing an LS standalone harness that I ordered off Ben Bailey from Facebook. We're going to look at the connectors. We're going to look at the wire, 12 month warranty, how to order and get it shipped to your door in just a few short days. So stick around. Okay, you heard from the intro. I have ordered an LS standalone harness. I'm going to show you where it come from. I ordered it from Ben Bailey on Facebook, one of the forums, and I'm going to put all of his uh, contact information uh, with the pictures and how to find him on Facebook in this video. And I'll tell you where I'm going to post it up and I'll show you. But this harness is supposed to have quality connectors. It is supposedly made with a TXL wire. And what that is, is a thin wall cross-linked copper wire. Uh, the cross-linked is the polyethylene insulation that's supposed to be bonded really strong, good insulation that's supposed to withstand anywhere from 60 degrees Fahrenheit up to 257 degrees Fahrenheit. Ford uses it, uh, Chrysler used it, uh, and GM uses it. It's supposed to be a really good automotive wire. This, this harness comes with a 12-month warranty. I did use PayPal to purchase it. I ordered it on a Sunday and received it on a Friday. So had fast shipping. It was five days, if you count Monday, you know, uh, as one of the days. I talked to Ben multiple times before I ordered this harness, and I can tell you, if the quality of this harness is as good as his response time, it will be out of this world because he is very fast to respond when you ask him questions. And I'm going to show you what you need to let him know, and I'll show you his webpage um, when we get this unboxed. So again, I'm not a very, I'm not a very good at unboxing. I don't do a lot of unboxing videos, but I wanted to do this one so that we could go through this together. Okay, right out of the gate, when I talked to Ben, I asked him multiple questions, and one of the questions was, is it labeled? So the connections are not labeled. You can go online and, and contact Ben, and he can give you a quote, because he's got several options if you're using a, like I'm using a Turbo 400 transmission. If you're using a 4L60, it's going to be a different option. If you're using EV1 injectors, Moltec injectors, it's all going to be different options. And I will, uh, I'll, like, like I said, I will post it up in the video here of the options he has, and he's going to ask you some questions. But anyway, let's get into the video. Let's get this thing opened, and let's see. Well, actually, let's see where it came from. I don't know if you can see that, but it's Candy Lou. It came from Shanghai, China mainland. So it is a China harness. But let's open up the box and see what we can see. Get it laid out on the table here. See what comes in the box. Now I have seen a review, Low Buck LS's channel, he does a review on Nathan Wee's uh, harness. So this is Ben Bailey. This one, the quote I got from Ben was a little higher than what I had seen Nathan quote everybody in his comments. Um, it costs a little more. I'm not going to put the price on here because your harness may be different prices. But let's just, right out of the box, let's just look at some of these wires and connectors. And just feeling of it, guys. Man, this feels really solid. Um, the biggest part I was concerned about was the loom. And if you feel this, actually, this loom is all taped up. So it's taped all over. I did ask Ben about the the grommet. This looks to be a two inch grommet. I will measure it for sure and let you know. Let's look and see what kind of other things we got here. So there's the connectors. It does come with a few relay pins and I'm assuming that is for some of your other... Oh, this one is actually labeled. This one's actually labeled tachometer. I think your tack wire is typically white, but uh, this one's actually labeled tachometer as a red wire. These wires, as far as feeling of them, feel very nice. It has a fuse box here with two relays. I'm assuming one of these is your fuel pump relay, but we'll look at the we will look at the uh, diagram here in a second. It does come with the bolts for the the connectors. Your battery, battery one, battery two. Let's see if we can see anything about these wires. They are, 
looks like three millimeters what it says i did order mine with the i believe it's the ev6 wires so the way you're going to have to figure out and what i'm going to do i think is i'm going to lay it out on the table and i'm going to take my label maker and i'm going to label everything because the coil packs they will go a certain way, and then your, of course, your injectors go down this one bank of the, um, one side of the truck. So let's see what else we got here. We have the instructions, and it tells the functions, precautions. It's got them all labeled here. But how am I supposed to know which one is which? And Ben did tell me if I had any trouble just to give him a call and he would walk me through which ones were which. Okay, so if I lay it out, if you guys look, one way to tell is you've got your battery connections are going to be on one side and then that's going to dictate which, you know, if it's 2, 4, 6, 8, or 1, 3, 5, 7, which is left and right. I'm going to look at my cam sensors. Let's see what else we got here. Just kind of stumbling through the manual okay we do have a color code chart that was what i was looking for so you've got your color codes for your injectors that's what i wanted to see that'll make it easy to label and then what else do we have our other signal wires that are labeled as well the tachometer now it says that's an optional it also says that that wire is white, but on here, I've got one labeled red and black, so not sure what's going on there. I'll have to check that. And then we have your fuel pump relays with your ignition relays, and then how to wire in cooling fans, and then if you use a TCC brake switch, how to wire that in. So that's kind of that in a nutshell. So let's lay this out on the table and see if the colors match up. And we will continue to uh, map out this harness and see see what it looks like. I'll give you guys a closer a close up view of it. So stick around. Okay, we've got the harness laid out on the table. Uh, as I told you, I was going to label mine as I went, but my label maker ran out of ink. So I took the book, and this may make it easier for some of you. And we're gonna talk about, when we talk about this harness, we're gonna talk about passenger side and driver side. I'm not gonna say right and left because if I'm sitting inside the vehicle, it's different right and left if I'm standing looking at the front of the motor. So it's always gonna be passenger side and driver side so we don't get confused. But I took the manual that came with the harness and I kind of laid it out the same on the table and I start with my battery connections and my battery connections, I have battery one and battery two. These will go on my starter where my hot uh, lead comes from my battery. So that will provide power to my harness. I have my oxygen sensor. And I know that's an oxygen sensor because I've actually got one over here. I'll show you. I actually have an oxygen sensor over here. And if you look at the plugs, they match. Well, they're opposite. They they plug into each other and then I have I know beside my power I am going to have my crank sensor so going up the harness if that is true this should be my passenger side connections which would be injectors two four six and eight with the coil pack and then I have my mass airflow sensor or my MAF sensor I'm sorry MAP 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 sensor manifold absolute pressure sensor there um, and the way I checked it I went back to the manual again just as a sanity check and I looked I said okay so if injector number two is on that side it should be a pink and dark green wire so if we look if I can get this in the light where you guys can see it you can tell that is a pink and dark green. So injector number four is the next one in line, and it is a pink with a light blue. Go here. 
injector four, pink, light blue. And I did that just to get my rights and lefts. Uh, well, there I did. I did it again to get my passenger side separated from my driver's side. And then you just check the rest of your wires. Um, you got your VSS signal wires. These actually should be going down this way. Even though I'm getting, this is for a Turbo 400, you have a speed sensor wire. Then you have your your crank or your camshaft posi position sensor, your knock sensors. Then you go up on this side, starting with your first injector would be one, three, five, and seven in your coil pack. Your mass airflow sensor, um, five pin. Then your alternator. You have your idle air control, your throttle body connection with your engine coolant temperature and coming down the harness of course you have your block ground um, you have your second o2 sensor it does come with an obd2 port connection for data transfer if you guys are interested this is a two inch grommet with extended wire so you can mount your ecm or pcm whatever you want to call it in the cab and i did when i first pulled this out of the box i told you guys i know from experience when i went to uh, lt1swap.com and I downloaded these schematics to deep in the harness uh, for the engine that's on the engine stand that, that I cranked a couple of weeks ago. If you guys didn't see that video, I'll put a link to that video in the description where I started the engine for the first time, but I used this document to deep in my own harness. And I decided I was going to order this harness because I wanted something that was already put together a little neater and that's just what I did. I wanted to order this harness. I just wanted one. So getting back to the schematics i uh, i know from experience the white wire was a tack signal well i noticed that when i got this one the tack was actually a red wire with a black tracer so what i did is i traced it out into the connector and it was correct whoever wired it though they left me a white one i'm assuming that's for a tack signal wire but it got me curious if if some of these other wires were the same or pinned out the same so what i did is I found the MIL, and the, the MIL is your multifunction or malfunction indicator lamp, your check engine light. And if I look, going to uh, Brendan's LT1Swap.com, 46, pin 46 on the red connector, and that's what these are if you've never been to his website. You've got a red and a blue connector. Pin 46 is the multifunction or malfunction indicator, check engine light. So I stripped me back some wire, and I, I did a continuity test, and I'll show you guys if you've never done a continuity test on a wire. I'll get you set up here, and I'll show you what I did. So I took my red connector, and you can just pop. Well, first of all, you want to trace that wire, that pin 46 on your schematic tells you. I'll try to get it to where you can see it. That's 45, where the yellow is at, right here. And 46 is this brown wire right here. So just as a sanity check, what you can do is just push this in and pop it up. Hold, hold a little pressure on it, don't break it. It doesn't take much. Take your screwdriver, pop this one up. Now, pin 46, that should be this pin right here. So what I did, is I took my multimeter, I put it on continuity, and I, mine's got my meter has a buzzer. So when I touch my leads, I get a beep. I found my brown wire in my harness. I touch my black lead, or it doesn't really matter when you're checking continuity. But this pin right here is pin 46, and when I touch it, I get continuity. And that was just for my sanity, just to check it. So, and I'll probably check the remaining ones the, for my tack and my other instruments that I'll be hooking up off of this. I'll probably check them. Oh, and one other thing I did, I took an actual wire that came out of the factory harness. I stripped it back just to compare the wire strands. So as you can see, this is a factory wire that came out of my original GM harness, Chevrolet harness. And then I stripped off when I did my multifunction wire or malfunction, multifunction, malfunction wire, check engine light. 
I stripped it back as well. And you can see side by side what those look like. If I can get you a good shot on it here. And this is the harness that came from Ben Bailey. This is solid copper wire. Or it's stranded copper, but it's it's not clad. It's not aluminum clad. It's not aluminum coated with copper. It's aluminum, or it's actually copper wire. So I'm really impressed with that. Uh, good job on that, Ben. If you watch this video. So with all that being said, guys, I'm going to end out the video here. I'm going to call this part one. Part two is I'm going to put this harness on my engine stand and start that engine again with this harness. If you didn't see the first video where I started it with the, the harness that I unpinned, um, I'll put the link to that description below. Again, this harness is supposed to be made with better wire, better connectors. It has a 12-month warranty. And I'll put Ben's information up again right here. And as you can see, he's got options. You need to look for your transmission type. You need to look for your injector type and give him a message. He's going to ask you some questions and that way he can get you a quote. It did uh, shipped out. I ordered it on a Sunday. It shipped out on a Monday. I got it on a Friday. So five days, including Friday. Um, if you search Ben Bailey, you will not, you may not, you may have a hard time finding him because his, uh, there was a, a guy that used to have a, he's a comedian named Ben Bailey, and he drove a taxi cab in New York City and did trivia games in the back of that taxi cab. His face will pop up. So if you're searching for Ben Bailey LS Harness Guy, search LS Standalone Harness on Facebook, and you'll find Ben Bailey's page. And you can see from the pictures I've got posted uh, what his page looks like. And I'll leave them up here, um, and then I'll come back on. And it's me again. For those of you stopping into DT Performance for the first time, thanks for stopping. Those coming back, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you're not a subscriber and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, give me a like, ring the bell, do all that good stuff, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.